Hello, and welcome back to RailsQuest. Today, I want to put the spotlight on a nice gem that I have found recently, and I've been using it in a few projects. In fact, I've been using it even since the old chat to do to do list app that I made a couple months back. So I think this gem has a great API and it's got some good foundations. It's based on two gems from the same maintainer that have a long history in the Rails community. So let's take a look at this gem. But before I do that, Let's take a look at the state of SEO in Ruby positioning gems space. So perplexity in particular, it seems to recommend quite a few gems that really haven't received updates in a long time. And I'll show you in just a moment. So hopefully you can see what perplexity is recommending for popular Rails gems for ordering records in a list. So first off, we see access list and ranked model. Then we see sortable and resort and acts as restful list. Okay, let's start at the bottom. We have acts as restful list. The last version was in 2011. Resort, positionless model sorting for Rails, 2016. So we're getting a little bit closer, but I think eight years ago, that may be a deal breaker for a lot of folks. Definitely enough to keep searching. Sortable is interesting. We've got several options before we get the one that's actually named sortable which was last updated in 2009 then we have rails sortable at the top from 2023 take a look at that so this one's neat it comes with actual javascript built in to sort a list with drag and drop that's a nice feature to have but if you scroll down you see that it's based on the jquery rails and the jquery ui rails people tend to not use jquery these days but let's not write it off so easily rails 4 Plus, that is not inspiring a lot of confidence in the latest version, but you know, it says 4 plus, it doesn't have a maximum version, so maybe we're Rails 8 compatible here. So you see, we're requiring it using the old Sprockets asset pipeline strategy. This is not going to be a prop shaft enabled project. It doesn't either say that this is deprecated. So again, you can take it or leave it. It's an option. It's, it looks really nice. You can drop it right into your project, but we're going to keep moving on. That one's definitely up there in my list of interesting things to check out. Ranked model acts as sortable. So it's a modern row sorting library for Rails 4.2 and up. We've got the latest version in 2024. Let's take a look at that. So we've got the same description, but here we go. Announcing the positioning gem. So the maintainer of both of these gems, acts as list and the ranked model gems, has learned a lot of lessons in building and maintaining those gems. And they're very popular. And so I'm sure he's gotten a lot of feedback from the people who use those gems as well. And he's decided to release a new gem. Now, remember, it's access list is also by the same author and we will see it has the same message the positioning gem and this is one that I've used in the past but the positioning gem was new to me so one thing that the search results give us is that at least these top two are actually actively maintained and those top two both have the announcement pointing us to the new gem that the maintainer is recommending so there's at least a pretty good path but I wanted to point out that the SE hasn't caught up to that yet and so you're going to get recommendations even from AIs like perplexity to use some of these other older gems and there's nothing wrong with them but today I'm going to highlight the positioning gem so you can look it up and read the documentation to get a detailed understanding of what's going on here and how to install it into your application but let's go ahead and take a look at chat to do all right, so this is the view and we're gonna take a look at the app. So this is the page that we're looking at in the app and here's the code. So first let's demonstrate what we're talking about. I've got a very simple to-do list here and there's a button that says move down and in the middle and toward the end of the list, we've got move up and move down buttons. So if I click that, we've got creative projects move down there. If I click move up, we've got creative projects at the top and social events in the middle. Simple enough. So let's take a look at how that works here with the positioning gem. So it starts in the model and the model is backed in the database. You add a position, an integer position 
position field to your record, and in here you can use it, positioned on to-do list. So that means that instead of being relative to all to-do blocks and positioning them in that context, we're going to position to-do blocks against the to-do list. So a to-do list is going to have an ordered list of to-do blocks. And you can see here as many to-do blocks. If we look at the controller, we can see what the params look like here. Notice that we accept the position at the root level of the to-do block params. And we also accept a nested hash within the position param. And we'll take a look at how that works in just a moment. But what that allows us to do is we can pass an explicit position, one, two, three, the first position, second position, third position, or we can pass a relative position. So we can say, move us before the nth element of the list. So move us before the first element, move us after the third element or the last element, and so on. So it's got a really nice intuitive language for manipulating the position of elements in a list. And here is about the dead simplest way that you can implement moving and changing the order of a list of items in a Rails application. We're going to add a button that says move up. And what move up is going to do is say move. So we're going to pass the params to this button, which is using the patch method. So it's going to call the update in the controller. And we're going to pass that nested relative position specifier right here. We're going to say move it before the block's prior position. So let's break that down. The to-do block has a prior position. That means for social events, the prior position is the creative project's to-do block. Let's take a look at that. So our button helper is going to create this form on our to-do block. And if we ignore the method and the authenticity token that were automatically added, what we have is the before parameter here. And it gives us a value of 99. That's the prior position to the 100th to-do block here. And if we look at the next button, what we have is position after the and first element of the list. So before is 99, after is 101, and we are looking at the 100th element in the list. And here, looking at the move down, we're moving it after the subsequent position. And that gives us this stepwise adjustment. So we can move the top one down below the next one, social limit events, and move it back up. We can move the bottom one up and back down. And we could add another button just for fun. Let's get rid of that if conditional. We're going to say position, and I'm going to double check in the documentation that this is correct. Yes, you can pass first the symbol or the string, and you will end up moving it to the first position. So now any of our elements can be moved to the top. Social events, household chores, or creative projects again. That's a quick rundown of how the positioning gem works. I found it to be really intuitive, and it works great in a number of contexts. I'd like to implement and make a video about also drag and drop reordering. So let me know if you're interested in that, and I can bump that up in the priority of videos that I make. Maybe I'd have to bump it up in the priority of implementing it in one of my apps also, just to give that little bit of synergy. I like to demonstrate the things that I'm actually working on so I show you real world stuff and not just fluff and random tutorials that don't have any application. But with that said, that is all I had planned to show you today. Hope that you have a blessed week. Please like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot and I'll see you next time.